Hello and welcome back. Um, uh, in this video, I'm going to continue uh, off of the previous two videos and talk about um, a simple to-do list um, that is just written in plain vanilla JavaScript and I'm going to be using object-oriented programming this time. And this is kind of a way to show uh, what can be done and um, instead of like a React so this is like a React um, app using React, obviously, um, to make a to, simple to-do list. So the idea is to make the same functionality with vanilla JavaScript, just to show the difference or maybe to show how it works um, uh, with just plain vanilla JavaScript because that's what React is. Uh, so let's, let's just jump in here and so on this one, so we want to make, I'm going to make a constructor function. So we got a const and constructor, and constructor has a capital letter to begin with. So it makes it a little different. If, and this dot input, and then you have this dot button. This dot list. And what are these going to equal? Well, thank you for asking. They are going, the input is going to equal the input that we put in. The button is going to equal the submit button. And the list is going to be the unordered list that we have there. And we want to do document dot query selector. Now, what I don't. I don't know what we want to choose yet. Ah, that was a mistake. I'll do button there. I will do list. And then gone gone. Okay. Um, what are these going to be? So I'm thinking object oriented. I want to think reusability. Right? So what if we had multiple to do lists on the same page instead of just one? And that's kind of how you want to go about this, I believe. Uh, so I'm going to choose so the input. Dun dun dun. I'm actually going to use the the data input. So data input. Oops. It's going to be data input, and I'm going to pass in the name that is going to be passed to the constructor function. Right. And the same goes for the uh, next two. <laughs> Data list. These are also going to be the name. I can type this. <clears throat> and I, uh, what else do we need? What else? We want to add in the So we have that, and we all, oh, okay, so this is that. Uh, we also want to add in the submit button. Now we have the submit button, but what, oh, we need a method. That's what we need. See, these are variables, so um, a method is just a function that's inside of a constructor or a class. Um, so that is going to be, um, it's going to be adding the item to the unordered list. And that will probably, it'll be like the submit that we've done in the past. So form submit. No, 
uh, we'll just do, we'll call it, yeah, we'll call it form submit. I like that better or more form submit. And it's going to be We're going to take an in input, right? It's going to be similar. Um, I'll do let create item. I need to work on my typing clearly. Document I create element, and we're going to create an li. And that create item is so that inner HTML. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be the div. Close that. And it's going to be the input. So what we're doing is we're adding a div element actually inside of the li and that is going to be the delete because we need the delete button this one right here and sorry about that people honking outside uh where is it there it is and it's going to be the times okay so now we kind of have uh, our, our constructor function done. And oh, also, let's do this. Let's do it this dot init, which is also going to be a function. It's kind of like an initialize. Init is a initialize. So we want this. Well, there's nothing in it yet, but we're going to add methods inside of this using prototypal inheritance. We're going to add on to our to-do list. So we go here. So now we have the to-do list variable, which is a function. And now if we use prototype dot uh, whatever function name, in this case, we're going to do add entry, and it's going to be a function, and the entry is going to be the input. And because of that, we can go back up here and we can do add entry if we want. And that will be, we will use that later. Uh, I don't, um, the, the entry is going to be the input in there. Let's not leave. Let's not do that yet. <clears throat> so this is just like the previous videos. This is going to be a, just a basic function, right? Um, except it's we're going to use this dot um, this uh, dot button, and this dot button is actually referring to this button. Huh, this dot button. This dot button is uh, add, a, add event listener, and on that, of course, it's going to be a click. So when a user clicks submit, and on that, it's actually going to be so we're going to call a function, and on the function. Um, so it's just like what we had done earlier, e dot um, prevent default. And again, same thing, it's, almost, it's the same functionality. If input dot value is equal to blank, no, if it's not equal to blank, geez. If I can get this to work. And we want to do, uh, we want to um, call another function. And what function is that? We want to do form submit. It's that form submit. And we're getting this 
this dot form submit from um, our constructor function that we just uh, um, uh, created. And, and what are, uh, we're going to pass it calls for an input to pass in. So we are going to pass in the input value. That input value, right? And now, um, now we can actually do input value instead of doing this like that. We can actually say no. Just a little something different, I guess. And we'll come back to this later. But so now I just added a function to the prototype. So um, the initial function or the constructor function, which I don't know if I can do. If I do this, does anything show? Um, so you see, these are the this dot input, this dot button, and this dot list. Oops. Um, there are only these right here because those are were added to that function. But add entry. It's undefined. Um, but what happens is, is that because of the prototype, that if we were to call this um, dot add entry, it, um, it it's going to end up working because uh, it actually looks on this constructor function. If it's not here, it goes up the prototype or down the prototype, however you think about it. And it looks for this function. And uh, uh, let, let, let's keep going and I'll explain it a little deeper as we get closer to the end. Okay, so, uh, but first we want to add another functionality and that is going to be uh, deleting. We need to be able to delete that button. <clears throat> delete that prototype. We have to do that. And it's going to be delete. Uh, yeah, that works. Delete. How about delete button? Nope. Delete. Mm, it's going to be another function. And it's not going to pass anything in. And now we want to remove what's happening is we're removing it from this list, which we actually reference earlier right here. So it's um, this dot list dot we're listening for events and that event is going to be a click. And when that happens, it's going to call a function. And just like earlier, previously in previous episodes, we're going to do um, e dot target dot class name, and if it equals delete, then we're going to we're going to take the parent do that target dot parent node, right, and remove it. But it does not work. Why does it not work? Well, it needs to be, first of all, it needs to be added to the initializer. The initializer. That sounds like, like an action hero movie. The initializer. It's initializing the code. Um, okay, so we want to... Um, add that to the initializer. Um, will it work now? No. Because it's still a reference, right, to that. So we need to actually come down here. <clears throat> and using the new keyword, ooh, fun, fun stuff. Um, we're going to initialize the first list. So this is like an actual list, and it's going to be example list and it's going to be a new object 
and the constructor function. It's going to be in, so the function the constructor function is just I get it's, it's just an object. So we're going to make a new object based on that like blueprint kind of. And the name we're going to pass in the name because that's what it says to do. And oops. And it is going to be we'll do a to do example. Okay. Has anything changed? Uh, Fail to execute. Not a valid selector. Dun 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 dun. That's because I forgot to wrap these in per double quotes. Um, yeah, there we go. That should go away. Please go away. Uh, oh, did not work. Jeez. Um, how about now? Undocument. To do example is not a valid. Why not? Again, data input, tricky stuff. When adding it to, uh, that needs to be around a uh, block element <clears throat> or uh, brackets. And now, no error. Okay, good. So that still does not work. Why does that not work? So what we need to do, so example list is a reference and is creating a new object to the to-do list um, constructor. So now if we do example list, and if we example list, and now if we run a function inside of the to-do list. How about if we run a knit? Will it work now? Now it works. So what is happening here? Example list. Well, first of all, I might want to put a, yeah, that might be a good idea. Throw a const in front of that. Constant example list is a reference to a new object of to do list. So this is an object or a function constructor. So if you think of it just as this highlighted portion, and I'm going to make that into an object with the new functionality or new keyword. And now because this is a function, I or uh, an object rather, I am this is the key, right? And this is the value. So I'm think of that like this. I'll write it. Um Uh, let's just do whatever. Whoops. That's object. You now it's example list. And all of this. No. Rather, that's not right. Now think of it like this. Is it function? And now this dot name. I remove 
remove that. So I remove that. So this dot init is actually referring to example list. Right? So there it is, example list. And if I were to run example list dot init, which if it would go down here, it would and then it would run this function. And that's what's happening. So I'm when I run example list dot init, I'm running this function which in turn gives me the ability to call this dot add entry. But if you notice there is no dot this dot add entry. And that's where the prototype chain comes into play. It goes down the prototype chain and if and if it looks or if it look it looks on the prototype chain, if there's anything there with that add entry, then it calls it. And so basically we're just, we're just adding on to the constructor function outside of it. And that is very powerful because someone else can add on to the prototype that didn't like that didn't start the the project or didn't have their uh, if you don't have access to this you can just add on to that to the prototype using the prototype and so it goes down the chain and it finds add entry and then it's able to call add entry um, but in this case we're actually using um, delete So, yet we're still unable to add. And why is that? Okay, so if we go up here to add entry, there's something happening. And we're going to have to use bind to fix it. <clears throat> go up here, add entry. So this stop button, which is button here. If you click on that, now it runs a function. Preventing it. Prevent default. If it's empty, blah, blah, blah. Um, or if it's empty, then run, run form submit, in which it goes up the chain and it runs it right here. But the error we're getting cannot read value prop or property value of undefined. Um, which is this right here on line 29. So the reason that is undefined is because input um, this stop where uh, the reason that's being undefined is because we need to bind, if we move this f uh, function right here, or op um, yeah, function, and in the binding will make th that to, or make, or will bind this to that function. And if we bind this, then it should work. Should work. Did not work. Why didn't it? Okay, let's go through here. Anybody listener? Ah, uh, whoops. Let's let's back up. We need to pass in the input, which is this dot input, which I said I would come back to later. Okay, so now we pass that in. So this is the input. We're passing it in. This dot form submit is not a function. 
Okay, I'm back. Uh, so found another bug. Uh, it's what hap- what's happening here is that I forgot to append, right? List dot list dot list dot append. Nope. And what am I appending? I am appending pen child. And I'm going to append the uh, create item. Okay. So that will work, um, passing in this dot input to the entry. And this dot form submit is not a function. So um, we need bind for this, but why do we need bind? So if I console.log this, what is, what, is, what is the object that we are referring to with this? It's actually the button. I click the button that is the object that this is referring to, but we don't want that. We want to refer to the constructor function, the to-do list. So in order to do that, this we need um, this reference right here to actually be to that function. So in order to fix that, we need to take the function and dot bind this. And when we do that, as you can see, that is the constructor function. And now it works. Because when you bind, it's actually, it binds to the, or in this case, it's binding to the original function, the outside function of these two. It's happening because there there's a function um, inside of a function in this case. Um, but so the object oriented pro, pro programming side of this, what if we wanted a second to-do list. And you don't want to, um, when you click submit, you don't want both to-do lists to uh, uh, add an item. So you need a sep um, separate functionality. So we're going to go here and I'm going to uncomment this. Now Um, maybe yes there we go and now we have two this doesn't work yet because I have to do I have to initialize this variable as well so if we go to con, um, const grocery Wow, if I could spell grocery list equals, we're creating a new object based on this constructor function. It's going to be called grocery list. Okay. And will it work? No, because we still need to run the init. We need we need uh, this core functionality. So this is kind of like the previous video of the modular, right? So these are these make it uh, public in um, in a way when we run our new object. That oops, yeah, and now. We can add here, add here, delete here, and delete there. And if you wanted to continue making these, you could easily create a function that when clicking on the button, it'll make a new list and it will generate HTML because this is the same. The only difference is I'm changing the input. So as you can see, grocery list, and you can easily make it whatever you name it, it 
it becomes the input, the button, the list, and then you would just have to initialize. Whoops. Have to initialize. Let's delete those. And then you could just continue continuously add lists or to-do lists. And yeah, so that's kind of the idea. We um, did the constructor function. We talked about kind of uh, prototype prototypal inheritance with the uh, um, prototypal or prototype chain. And we had to use bind for this in order to use this original object. And we also use the new keyword, which um, initializes this reference of, ex of example list to the constructor function. So we had access to these methods inside. And um, that's kind of, that is it. So uh, thank you for watching. Um, I'll probably, or I'm going to make uh, another video probably on a something similar, also dissecting uh, the, the, the comparison of like React and um, the object or um, the vanilla JavaScript functionality. And the uh, I mentioned the React um, aspect of the to-do list in the first video, and I also will have the code on uh, my GitHub. So I will link that in the description if you are interested. Um, uh, thank you for watching.